collecting down in Plush, Oregon. We've been driving uh, about almost three hours so far. We just passed Riley and we're on 395 going south now. And we just wanted to get a little video of all the nothingness out here. It's actually pretty smoky today just because there's some fires going on. And the road out here is not super smooth either. Right now my my voice jittering around. You know, but it's pretty much nothing. We're going to come up on a little rise and <laughs> who knows what's on the other side. Probably more nothing. But yeah, there's not too much out this way. Sagebrush and cows, that's about it. And rocks. <laughs> not too much. You can see some power lines way off in the distance, like high voltage power lines. And pretty much not much else. There's a little corral out in the middle of the desert there. Not too much. Basically, you got yourself a couple outhouses, a couple trees, a picnic table, and nothing. There must be power, oh, there's row of power lines going that way. But we just passed by all those hills. At least the weather's decent. It's not super hot out here. It's a little bit overcast, which makes it nice. But it's a nice little rest stop. It's not much here, but I mean, you got a water like faucet thing here, so you could possibly get a drink for your dog. There's, it's dry. well, <laughs> it's dry. So there's a little dog run area that they've got. They actually have dog poop bags out here, but nobody uses them. And you got the, the mountains back there. Like, pretty nice. Well, you can tell it's windy. Well, we'll get back on the road. So we had some technical difficulties. Someone thought they were videoing for the last five minutes. Of all the scenery. But really, they took a picture of a truck on the side of the road <laughs> with a flat tire. <laughs> yeah, we we have three spare tires with us for the trailer, so hopefully we don't have any problems, but if we do, we're prepared at least, because we're pretty much gonna be out in the middle of nothing. Closest town is 42 miles from where we're going. And right now, the only closest thing is that bunch of cattle over there in the field or in the dried up lake bed. It's actually green right here though. Well it's a dried up lake bed. It's probably water table is probably not that far away, but yeah, and they got signs all over the road because it's open range here, so the be a cow standing in the middle of the road anywhere. You just never know. I think last time we came down here there's cows just walking up the road. But not too much out here. You can just imagine what the people immigrating out here would think coming out here and they're there's no water, no nothing. We must have had it rough to try and make it across all of this. And 
it's a pretty long drive. Like, a, like I said on the first video, they did was just a picture. Just, we've been traveling since 1:30, and it's 5:30 now, and we've probably got another hour and a half or two to go to get to where we're going. But we're taking our time. We're just stopping at rest stops. We got the dog in the back, so we got to make sure he's not getting too hot and everything. So. But this is the big, I don't know what lake this one is, but it's dried up. It's alkaline lake, maybe. Alkaline or down Albert? Like or Albert. Or Lake Albert. Yeah, Lake Albert. I think that's up a little farther. Maybe this is Lake part Albert. of it, though. We stop the video, but it's kind of neat. Lake yeah, Albert. Once we get, we're going to go over a little rise up here on the side of this hill, and then we'll drop down and see the actual water. Looks like there's water from here. But it's, I mean, the mountains are pretty interesting. They're all layered. There's something that not too many people see because it's, this is like way out south east corner of Oregon. really not too many reasons for people to drive out this way. Unless you're delivering the mail or delivering to a store that might be out here in the next little town over. It's about probably 100 miles away from here.
directions. Took the long way around. Took the detour <laughs> around. Pretty much took a two hour out of the way trip to get to where we are right now. But we're probably, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes max from the well, you're only from the turn. Well, so. I know, but I'm saying 15 to 20 minutes max. We're only going 30 miles an hour. Unless it's not like we're going 60. Well, it's a good thing we're not in a rush because yeah. this took how this many took, hours now? <laughs> we, we left at 1.37 and it's 7.58 now. Sorry about the dirty window. We got one darn fly in here that's been pestering us for two hours. Taking a picture of the cliff. Well, <laughs> trying to just sh show how pretty the sunset is. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's a good thing that we're not in a rush to get out of here. Like, if we would have left an hour later, we would really be in a tough spot trying to find the place because it is getting dark. Obviously, by the sunset. So we probably got half hour to 45 minutes more daylight before it's dark. We still got to set the camper up. Not that that takes long, but we got to cook dinner too. Might just be hot dogs tonight. Yeah. Nice and quick. Yeah, that's fine by me. I do feel bad for the kids. How are you doing on this kids trip? Been sitting back there Bored in yet? a little dungeon for six hours. No? You like the view? Poor doggies back there. Yeah, dogs back there in the back eating dust. They didn't like see anything except the ducks. There's the camper right there. Okay, well, hopefully next video we're there. Yeah, hopefully it's morning. So we made it here. It was dark when we got here last night, so got up this morning. Probably can't see how orange that sun is, but it looks so pretty. Oh, it's a huge bunny. Look at that. Wait, see it? There it goes. It's an outhouse. Huh. Those were all full last night. I mean, that's not that's so full. Little pavilions. There's a few people here. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some sunstones today. Just wanted to show the sunset, but we're lies. Oh, can't really see how pretty it is in the camera. So this is kind of our setup so far. We've got Ethan was digging this little hole here. He found quite a few. I think he's getting ready to move. We'll come back and fill this in before we leave. And he might continue digging here. He's got his chair. We got the quarter inch screen. This is where I was digging over here. The problem is we got, I made half inch screens and half inch is pretty much <coughs> too big for most of what's here quarter inch I mean you probably get some three eighths and stuff but half inch screen is too big for doing around here I just screen it into this bucket take it over or bring the screen over so I can fill my hole back in with the dirt that came out and 
screen the down to quarter inch but we're just like we're camped right there we got the generator going right now just to charge up the batteries but we're heading up to another spot and just happened to brush against one of these sage brushes here like this little one here and, uh, oh here we go <laughs> i thought i heard a rattle we found a uh, rattlesnake right here first one we've seen out here it's not super big or anything but it's just looking to get away from us is all it doesn't want to be near us anymore and we want to be near it but I don't know if you can see its tail right there. It's pretty much in the center of the screen. You know, they're just trying to find some shade right now because it's already pretty warm. But we found quite a few just walking around. I'll see if I can find one quick. And show you kind of what we're finding. I mean, you can see all the big areas here where people have been going. But there's one right here. You know, we're not finding super huge ones or anything, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah, it's not going to focus on that. It's focusing on the ground behind. But some of them have like color streaks and stuff in them. This one looks pretty plain. But it's a decent sized one. Let's see if I can find another one that's more representative of what we're finding. They're all, you know, quarter inch screen. It's screening them out, so they're a little bit bigger than quarter inch, but not a lot. I mean, we're finding some that are bigger, but like this is probably about the second or third one I found of this size. And it's been mostly just walking around, but. Most of the time the ant nests have, is where you can spot a good spot to look. But if you look right at the tip of my finger there, that's one. There, are, It's sandblasted basically from being out in the desert in the wind. But then you got one right there, at the tip of my finger. Yeah, it's about what we're finding, small. And there's loads of red ants out here. So you kind of got to be careful, but like, there's one right there. But, and they're all small, pretty thin. Try not to get you guys too seasick here. Here's another one just on the ground. Right there. It's not bad. The easiest way to spot them is, seems to be walking towards the sun or looking towards the sun because then it refracts off of them. You can see them pretty easy, but you can see like this one's a little bit oranger looking and that one's kind of clear. You know, it's just the different coloration of them. But, I mean, they're, they're basically everywhere. You can see that there. I mean, you can see little sparkles just everywhere. Then you come up, whoop, got a big deep hole here that someone dug never filled in their hole but they may still be camping here and coming back to dig some more but it looks like they screened right into their hole so maybe they're not coming back but we moved up I don't know if you can see out there or not they're up there digging away it's hard to tell if this thing's focusing or not. Just because it's so bright out here. I mean, but I mean, there's a truck way out there. The car over here. That's one of the pay to dig mines way over there. This is kind of an overlook of the whole little camp area where you can camp here. You got one porta pot or pit vault toilet there but there's probably it seemed like there's a lot more people here last night I think some people left this morning or else drove off into the desert there's like 2,500 acres 
of just desert that you can go search and try and find sunstones. We're just doing it because we're trying to get out of the house with the kids and they, my boy actually wanted to come down and do this. But like you saw in the first part of this video, it's a long drive. So, but we're gonna call it that for now and we'll get back to you and show you pretty much what we find towards the middle of the day and take a, when we take a break and we'll get back to you then. So basically what we're doing is we're screening half inch into a bucket and then we got a one quarter inch screen that we're all sharing, sharing, <laughs> that we're doing that again. Basically the first thing just breaks it up, the second one, but you can see like they're pretty easy to spot most of them. Like, there. I know my big hands in there. How about I use my other hand? Like this one doesn't look like much, but if you if you hold it up, you can actually see through the mud that's maybe if it focuses. You can see through the dirt that's on there. But then you pretty much you just kinda look through everything and see if you see anything that's kinda clear looking. And that's a sunstone. I mean, if you had water, you could. Yeah, put if you had water, water you can rinse it. all these off. But Which I do. Here's one. I know we have. Oh, that's it looks almost green. You have but something weird in there. That's a bullet. Oh. Or a casing, or a shell, or the lead. But you know, it's just pretty tedious because they they're hard to spot because they got dirt on them. Like there's one up here. Yeah, they're all fairly small though. Like right there's one. Yeah, actually, this one almost looks. It's just got so much dirt that. Once you yeah, wash them, once they'll I be pretty. Once I wash it, yeah, we'll see what they look like. Not all of them are clear. Like I mean, it's hard to tell. You can see if it's all fractured inside. And, they're not all perfect. But that was your first dig here. Yeah, that was my first bucket little... out of my hole that I started. So. But did you show how they're on the ground everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I did that. Yeah. Like can... this whole spot, you can see. I don't know if they can see, but it's so shiny. It looks like glass, like little pieces of glass all over the place. Really just little sunstones everywhere. Yeah, it's like Here's an orange one. Can't spring it up from down below because they're digging their tunnels. So they can't spring it up and drop them out. So if you don't want to dig. And that's kind of where you can look. It gives you an idea of how to, where to look to try and find some is where the ants bring it up and there's actual sunstone little chips in there. There's probably bigger ones down below. But they can only move the little chips. So. That's pretty much it for this screen work. I'm going to double check up to the sunlight. It's not easy to do. Oh yeah, I missed a couple actually. You can, that's how you can see. Again, if you miss any, just hold it up above your head to the, towards the sun. What are you doing? Choking? And I don't know if you can see, there's one right there. Yeah, I doubt it. This one right here. Oh, yeah. And you can see through, like it lets the sunlight through so you can see them. But those are pretty small little just chips. I think Ethan's ready yeah, for the screen. Done. Pretty much done with the screen. So. We should have brought more screen, small screens. It's not, that, it's not the end of the world. Someone else will find them. So let's see what you got so far in your no, in your thing. What's that? Well, I emptied it out. Oh. Oh, you emptied your. It's a couple. Where did you sift that before? Hey, a couple of decent size. Just from right this. Here. Hey, get out of that hole. He likes to go inside the holes we're digging. So Ethan just dug a oh, bucket. It's cool. Since there's no shade out. And he's gonna do his screening. We'll just video that. It gets pretty dusty when he does it.
like you're a professional now. Hopefully you found some decent ones. I know I saw one, but I lost it. Well, sometimes they fall through this even, too. Yeah. But then, I guess they're not worth keeping, huh? Not really, when there's so many. This, uh, this bucket's not looking too good. Gotta be one in here. I'm sure I've missed it. Oh yeah, right there. Yep. Let's see. Oh. see it next <laughs> Out of that whole bucket, you got one good one? Not well, done yet. There's one right here. Yeah. Dog's trying to get shade. I might end up putting him in a camper just to give him a break. So, okay. So that's it for now. So here's our setup. We're working on this whole Ethan started earlier. We went up, up the hill and we worked on some stuff up there, but it pretty much wasn't worth it. So now we got our screen set up here. So we can look through them, put up the canopy so we can have a little bit of shade. But we're running out of shade, so we're going to have to move the canopy over a bit just to be able to keep some shade on us so we don't pass out in this sun. But you know, I don't want to get too close because I'm looking at the phone. Not, but it's pretty good. Deep hole. So, I'm just trying to get a little deeper, but we're into rock on the bottom, which is a good sign because that's where the bigger ones supposedly are. We've already found a couple in that that didn't go through the half inch classifier. So, we'll update you again. I can show you Ethan's, one of Ethan's stashes so far. He's emptied it out a few times already into the camper, so he's got quite a few. Uh, we'll show those at the end. Lily's up at the camper. I set up the hammock in the back of my truck and she's probably sitting in there, but it's pretty hot. We're probably going to take a break pretty soon for lunch and we'll get back to you guys. We're getting ready to clean them up. This is like how they look rough. Then he's going to pour them into a colander. Yeah, put some water on them. And amazing how much dirt then we already did one batch of sharings it's hard to see really good but there's a few big ones in here somewhere somewhere hidden I had a nice <laughs> oh in here yeah Nice big clear one. You do yours, Lily? Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. It sure does. What you got? Ooh, really? It's a nice one. Yeah, actually, a nice one. big one in there. Mm -hmm. You got that white rock as well. Mm -hmm. 
And we just are sticking on a paper plate and letting them dry off That's and then right. we'll take a look at them. I like the pink one. And kind of separate them because they got, some are clear, some are like she has one red one right there. And then like you've got the ones with the, this one's a good one because you can see like that change that color uh, you can see in the stone itself that like because see how it looks clear at one angle and it's got that shimmer in there it's and like some a of them pinkish like, the black in it. <clears throat> I don't know what that is if it's supposed to have black that's probably just part of the post rock that it was on. It's just I don't know if that's one. Not cleaned off. Here we got a colander full of clean stones. Oh, this one's pretty red and stuff. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, we'll go through them, and once they're cleaned up and kind of sorted out, we'll give you another look at them. Here's the recap on these. I got a lot. These are after they've been washed off and they're still a little wet. But they're gonna turn out hazy like this one right here. Just because they're all most for the most part they've been sandblasted out in the desert, so they'll get hazy. They'll get hazy, like you can see how this one's kind of just hazy looking. Red ones aren't, it looks cloudy now. No. By the way, those were all mine there that I found. These are all Sharon's. I think I have the most out of everyone. She got a nice couple of nice red ones, which are not as easy to come across. I have a bunch of red ones. But then you can see like that one there has got like some shimmer or shiller. And it looks like, oh maybe it's a red one. It's hard to tell through the foam. I don't really see that shimmer stuff. Then you've got Ethan's. This one maybe? Clear. You can see he's got some that are red. Then Lily is like at all those nice ones. I have so many. I yeah, have she all didn't of collect them. <laughs> she didn't collect nearly as long as us. <laughs> she was doing other stuff. Sitting in the hammock reading my book. Yeah. Sitting in the hammock reading her book. I was going to see if I can find. I had one that was that you could really see that. You know, what are you doing? Like oh, this one yeah. here. You can see that. You can really see, That's the Schiller color inside the rock. What? Like, it's almost, I don't know, opaline, I guess. Well, when you just get it to the right. So like right section of piece of light. Yeah, yeah, you can see that pink shine in the middle there. Okay. Kind of moves with the stone. Yeah, she has one. Here's one of Lily's. Oh, it helps for me to just look first and see. It's on the front. There's a bunch. Yeah, There's a bunch of them. <laughs> you just gave it to mom. Oh yeah, on the end. Here's another one. Hmm, it's like a different either. color. Hmm. It's hard to see. I mean, you gotta, you gotta look just right to get it. Like, uh, yeah, if you look 
it's hard to pick up with the camera. Mm, I think this one looks yeah, like it's going to have some. Oh, that's cool. I think you can see inside this one that's got it. It's, it is hard to see. Yeah, it's just plain old hard to, hard to see. I can find some of this. <laughs> I know. I know. Did you find it? Probably don't want to see that. I mean, people don't want to see mm. that, do they? I don't know. Just saying. All right. Well. I mean, this was a good. It was a good little quite trip. A bit. Yeah. For one day of collecting. Yeah, it was, it was pretty much one day and then the next morning we walked around and just picked up rocks off the ground because they're, they're literally everywhere. Like I found a few like this, this size just on the desert floor. These, these ones we actually dug up and screened to find them, they're a little bit on the bigger side. Yeah. So, but like this is like a bigger one from the just on the ground. And I think I found this one. If I can hold it, this one on the just on top. Yeah, there's a lot of them and a lot of different colors. And is this yours? This one was in the dirt. You remember? And this one was on the ground. <laughs> Isn't that the same? The dirt and the ground. This one, I, the biggest one I found on top of the ground right before we left. I have some cool ones that have a bunch but of stripes. But this is my favorite. Right? This red one. Which is red. I'm not sure what we'll do with them. So that's that. That's our roundup for a day's worth of collecting. I mean, it's a pretty good portion. We'll talk to you guys later.